Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. This is not clickbait. There's three things I need to share with you guys, and it's really important. I need to talk about scams as it relates to the board apes, and I need to talk about uh, the ape coin of how not to get wrecked if you're FOMOing in. And then we want to talk about how we can take advantage of the opportunities going on uh, in this market. Now, before we get into that, please hit that like button. We want you to be part of this community. Subscribe, match the notification, and guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. It's really important. All right, let's get into it. On the scam side, guys, I want to be clear. It is not the board apes that are scamming you, but because this project is so big and it's so massive and everything social media is blowing up, there's a lot of FOMO going on, and everybody wants to be part of the board apes. I get it. I love the project. But the scammers are on alert, and the hackers are out there doing their thing, and they're very damn good at it. And, guys, uh, what they're doing, from my understanding, is they're uh, setting up different advertisements with different links that lead you to where you think you're in the board eight ecosystem, whether it's buying a t-shirt or uh, whatever it is, uh, just navigating to look around our future product projects or talking about the board apes in the metaverse or whatever it is. And once you hook up your wallet or just give them your information, they take your money. So be aware because in like Europe, they're aver they're literally doing advertisements to telling people to be careful of this project. Now, the other side is, guys, I don't want you to get wrecked, but you need to understand that this is a different type project. You're dealing with a whole different world. And why is that? Because guys, I used to trade foreign currencies. I worked for Bear Stearns. I've seen how the big money, the real money and the powerful money in the world works and how they think. And I don't know if you really understand, but if someone makes a million dollars trading crypto, they took that million dollars from someone else. And this project, you're dealing with a ape. And that that really represents like a real ape in the real jungle. I want you to think about the ape coin, the apes in general, and crypto as being the jungle. That's the environment we're truly in, guys. And this is not negative. I just want you to understand the environment, understand how to navigate. And when that ape comes after your banana, he's not going to get it. He's going to get someone else's, and we're going to get our share of the bananas. That's my goal. Now, what am I talking about? Well, right now, uh, if you FOMO in, guys, you're going to get wrecked. Um, they have... Uh, they have been airdropped a lot of coins each and every eight. Well, they're up right now at like 1,500%. I can't get the real numbers because they literally went across the board and got listed on all the exchanges at once. So the data hasn't really slowed down and got better. And then they had such a big spike, I can't get it on the fresh charts. Uh, it's not showing up. Um, my Coinbase shows that it came out and ran to $39.40, and right now it's at like $15. So if you FOMO'd in, there's a good chance you've already lost half your money. Now, if you haven't got out yet, you haven't lost it, but you understand what I'm talking about. Um, my thoughts are um, that this thing might run again short term. You might get another spike. It's very common. But you got to understand, if someone's up 1,500x, they're going to take their profits almost 100% of the time. Now, another thing you need to understand is the tokenomics are all set up to benefit the apes. Guys, the apes get like 62% of the profits, and then the uh, the board or the foundation get like 8%. So like 70% of all the tokens are going to the people involved in the beginning of the project. That's scary, guys. There's nothing wrong with that, but
but you just need to be aware. So what does that tell you? There's a small, small group of people that can dump at any time. And when you look at the way uh, their vestige is, so that when they can let go of their coins, all the coins, now this part is good, are going to be done out in the market in 48 months. Well, for the average person, I wouldn't look to participate in this token unless you want to do something very, very short term uh, until all the vestige has uh, coins have hit the market in uh, after 48 months. Now, here's the part that concerns me at, that makes this really different. And I could be wrong, guys, and this is not financial advice, but I want you to think about who the apes are. The apes, first of all, most of them made their money in crypto. They're extremely wealthy. Now, they are banned together. There's 10,000 apes. I wish I was part of that group. Um, I watched an interview with the guy and how he talked about, if nothing else, this is what he said in buying his $600,000 ape. He said, first of all, it tells you that I'm a baller. But second of all, I get to hang out with all the other ballers. What do you think that value and that knowledge is worth? And they understand that they can push this market around in a lot of other markets and take advantage of the market, which means taking advantage of you and me. Now, that's nothing wrong with that. Nothing. That's the way it works, guys. These are free markets. You don't have to trade, but it's very aggressive. Like I said before, it's the jungle. Now, here are my thoughts. I may day trade this token. We'll just have to see how it plans out. But I'm thinking that they know. Um, that once this thing goes down and they're making all their profits and they're they're in cash, right? That they have a lot of stuff coming out in their roadmap. There's going to be a lot of announcements, like the metaverse announcement or a party. Who knows what's coming down the pipe? But every time people are going to want to FOMO in. So for them, they know there's ten thousand of them. They join together. They start buying the metaverse news. Whatever comes out in the future, it's going to start to rally. And here it goes again. And here it goes again. They can do that over and over and over. I personally believe the exact same things going on in Shiba and Dogecoin. That's what they do. There's whales behind there and they're moving the market. But that's a different uh, video. But so what I want you to do is totally understand maybe what they're up to so here's my strategy and here's my thought process not financial advice again um, i just want you to be informed do not fomo into this if you are into it and it rallies and you can get out i would highly think long and hard about taking those profits because guys i truly think of your money like it's my money even though this is not financial advice I'm Uncle Ray. I've been around a long time and I understand how these markets work and I understand how the players think. And there are some strong, strong guys involved in this project and it's set up for them to win. All right. Uh, the other part is the day trading part. I mean, I truly believe if this thing gets down, you know, in two weeks, I'm going to see where it's at. In two months, I'm going to see where it's at. In two years, I'm going to see where it's at. When it gets way down, guys, let me give you an example of what I want to see. Now, it may not do this, but this is a typical, typical thing. Uh, now, this is not board eight, but this is exactly what it did. It came out like this, and right now, it's about here. This is what I'm thinking. If you're lucky, you get this opportunity to get out. And then most of them do something like that. And then, say, a year, two years, six months, whatever, you might start to get a big run up and we'll see what, what value it truly has. So I'm going to watch it. And anytime it gets down in here, guys, I'm probably going to buy it. And then anytime this thing spikes, I'm going to take my profits. I do not see this as something, if anyone, in my opinion, got in right there, anywhere in that gap and above, 
they're probably going to be holding for a long time. And I don't want to see that happen. Now, that being said, don't let me talk you out of anything if you understand the game better than me, because, you know, Bitcoin's going to run this year. And when it does, it could take out the high of the board apes, no matter where you got in. And you could say, hey, Ray was wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I just want to protect your money so you can live to fight another day. That's my only thoughts. Again, not financial advice, just financial information. But anyway, guys, I ran it on enough. I love the project. I really do. None of this is negative. But just understand when you're trading crypto, there is no uh, uh, political correctness. The markets are going to be as an aggressive as they want to be and you need to be on the right side of the big money and understand the game that you're participating in don't fomo in never chase these markets guys never if you can get in down in here think about it guys if you let's say this really does let's say this market does something like that man you're in good boats down here you can you can hold that forever but if you're up in here man you're going to be hodling for a long, long time. And definitely don't put in money to a project like this that in 10 years there's no telling where it could be and then dump it because you bought the pump. That's just crazy, guys. That's just crazy. Never chase a market. And if you were gonna uh you know if you put that money in, hopefully it's a project that you think is gonna be there long term, which I'm not convinced on uh the board ape yet because it's a whole different thing. Uh, I'm not so sure that it's not going to be the trend-setting token and every, so much is going to spin off. That's what I'm really thinking. I love everything about it. I wish I had the money to just throw into um, you know, an NFT for half a million dollars. I would, but I can't do that. Uh, Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you found this valuable, but I want you to thread, tread lightly, guys. You are walking in the jungle um, around a bunch of apes, and trust me, they don't only want your banana. They want mine and everybody else. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Take care.